What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact, and today we're going to have a quick discussion about the MetaZoo Cryptid Nation 1st Edition Blister Packs, and we're going to go ahead and open one as well. That's honestly, that's really the point of the video. I am, I have such a strong hankering to actually crack and open a pack. It's been a while since I've opened a booster pack from Cryptid Nation, so I wanted to go ahead and do that. As it stands, I have three of these packs in my collection. One of them is uh, off somewhere else at the moment. This one, of course, I'm going to keep sealed as this one here has the Mothman pack behind it, which of course you can't tell because it's sealed and it's covered by the Mothman promo. And then this one here with the Pie Saw Bird and the Mothman promo, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and we're gonna see what's in store for us in there today. With all of that said, a little bit of background on these packs. There were 20,000 of the blister packs for first edition produced. So in terms of the overall print runs of things, the booster boxes themselves from first edition, there were 25,000 made, there were 5,000 of each theme deck made, and there were 4,000 of each variant of the release event box made for a total of 20,000 of those. So the blister packs were produced at the same amount as the event release decks. So there's 20,000. So that means there is, of course, 20,000 of these Mothman promos, 20,000 of these coins, which these coins are kind of a special deal as the coins come in the blister packs, the regular theme decks, as well as the spell book. You don't get a coin in a booster box, but you do get a box topper in a booster box, of course, at least the first edition Cryptid Nation. That is not the case with Nightfall, but for first edition Cryptid Nation boxes, you get the box topper. Anyway, back to this. So you get access to this coin through the blister pack, and the coins can actually be traded in at live conventions uh, where Mike Waddell is and a few of the other team members, I believe, to get some like his signature and potentially artist signatures and things on cards. You can have them sign whatever card you want in your collection or uh, booster packs or whatever you want them to sign, they can sign it in exchange for one of these coins. Or of course, a coin from one of those other products mentioned. Though I would recommend probably this coin since there's 20,000 of them, whereas each theme deck, there's only 5,000 of each of those coins. So if the coins ever one day actually become collectible, the ones from the theme decks will probably be the rarer ones because there's just far less of them. And it's also fun to note that the Kickstarter versions of these blister packs, there were 2,000, not 20, but 2,000, 10 times less produced of the Kickstarter version than there are of this version. So as an investable item, in terms of a small-scale style of approach to MetaZoo, it might be a viable thing. I personally think of it more as a collectible than an investable item. Personally, uh, feel free to disagree with me on that. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the blister packs in the comment section. Do you think that it's good to build up stacks of these things as potential investments? Or are you kind of like me and they're just a cool thing to have as a piece of the MetaZoo history, but not to go crazy into, you know? My personal opinion is the booster boxes, the spell books, and even the theme decks make better options. I would kind of put this in essentially last place in terms of the actual investable item. But because of that, it might actually be good. <laughs> that tends to be how history works out as well. The things that the majority of people think are not going to be the big hot item have a tendency to sometimes uh, break that expectation and go wild. So... Honestly, who knows? My, my rationale, though, is that there's 20,000 of these promos, so there's nothing too special about these in comparison to other promos and cards, and you get the same type of booster pack that you get in the box anyway, and there's plenty of those available. And it's the same type of booster pack that you get in the box, and the spell books, and the theme decks, and the release packs. You get booster packs in all of those products, so to have just one by itself... It, it's more the actual sealed item itself that is the collectible in this case. In terms of value, I just don't know the potential for how high this thing can go in comparison to those other products. Enough rambling, let's get to cracking. Now, I know that there's some special art behind this pack and everything, but I'm kind of, I, I am not a clutter bug, if you will, anymore. You know what I mean? I'm not going to keep the backing of this thing after I open it. Uh, that's just not me at this point. I like to try and really maintain a clean collection, a clean house at this point. So I'm not going to have loose cardboard and things laying around. I will throw out all the wrappers and packaging. But we can certainly enjoy it, but I'm not going through painstaking efforts to not rip it, you know what I mean? So here we go, let's pull this stuff out, and let's enjoy this art. Boom. <laughs> See? So there you've got 
Sam Sinclair, as well as, of course, several other cryptids. Love the little UFO guy there and the Metal Man of Alabama. And there's two Mothmans. There's this one here and this one. So, you know, maybe Mothman has a brother? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that's a pretty cool piece. Not even going to lie, if this artwork was more exposed than the sealed product itself, like maybe on the back or... Uh, just displayed in some different way. Um, maybe if it was like an insert. I, I don't know how you could do it, but you know what I'm saying? If the artwork itself was displayed in the sealed product more, then it would probably be an even more desired collectible. So maybe they'll change that in the future for other blister packs. And here is our beautiful coin. First edition MetaZoo. Um, gold, you know, not real gold, but you know, gold Mothman coin. Beautiful coin, definitely a nice addition to the coin collection for MetaZoo, though I will likely be trading this in at a live event when I attend one and get some signed cards. I have a couple of coins that I'll be using for that purpose. Here's the Mothman promo itself. Of course, this one has different abilities from the actual Mothman that you can pull from the, uh, from the booster packs. Uh, let's see the back. Okay, the back isn't terrible, so this is good. Like, one of the things that I was... Uh, debating on was the actual quality of the Mothman in the two packs that I have. You can see here that the left-right centering is way off on this one. So since it's transparent and you can see if you are interested in grading them potentially and you have multiple, you can kind of get a feel for which one is better just by <laughs> looking at it through the plastic and determining. So, yep, this was the better of those two options. So it's kind of a win-win that I get to keep the Mothman pack sealed with that other one because this one is just better overall. All right, and for the moment that we have all been waiting for, let's see what is in this one pack of MetaZoo. It is rumored that the pull ratio for hologram cards is way higher in the blister packs, so I'm hoping to actually get a hologram, a full hologram, and not a reverse. That would be wonderful, as I opened a ton of spell books and got terrible, terrible pull ratios of hollows. So let's see if we can make up for it with a nice hologram card. Starting out with a Bat Squatch, Frozen People, Bookmark, Classic, The Skeleton's Lanterns, Balancing Beam, Squonk, that's good luck, Book of Shadows, and... Yeah! <laughs> Full Hollow Death Beam Obnoxious 9. See? Look at that. That... This is worth about what a blister pack itself is worth. So, very good gamble I just took there. <laughs> you know, obviously you're not guaranteed every time to get something good, but this really paid off to go ahead and just open this one pack and check this out. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, man. And a good old Suburbia and Earth Aura. So this is, wow, what a nice hit, especially since I run Darkness and this card. So this is perfect. Really, really, really happy to pull that. Well, that wraps up the video for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this pack opening and discussion about the MetaZoo Blister Packs from First Edition Cryptid Nation. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, definitely subscribe to the channel. We'll be having plenty of MetaZoo content as well as other cards and card game content as well. And of course, again, let me know what you think about the blister pack situation in the comment section. How do you foresee that playing out in the long term, in the short term and the long term, or whatever opinion you want to share about it? I'm really interested to hear what, what you guys have to say about the blister packs, as I'm kind of, as my, my personal feelings toward them just isn't that strong. So I'm just curious to see what you guys think. Anyway, thanks again for coming by, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.